Good evening, Janet. Hello, good evening, my dear students. Good evening, teacher. How are you? I am doing great. Very happy to be here on time. Another day for another class. Yes, it's okay. I think you need to you need to receive another diploma to be the most punctual students. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, Janet, too. Similar. Yeah, I mean the, the two of you, Janet and Carlos, you are always punctual. Always punctual. <laughs> so, but uh, for me, I have uh, several uh, problems when using the uh, ENG. ING. ING, yes. Why? I need to practice, practice more. This well, part. depending depending on the ING forms, uh, depending on what you want to express. Mm -hmm. For example, exactly. if you want to express a, an activity, okay. if you want uh -huh. to express, for example, uh, something that you are doing, something, how you are doing it, and you say, like, for example, uh, I am working, I am studying, I am uh -huh. teaching. I this, am... Is, this is the present con present continuous. Right? Present continuous, right? Continuous. Yes. continuous. The future, the future continuous is uh, more difficult to, for me to uh, structure, structure the bar. The future continuous. How when you say, I will be waiting, I will be working, I will uh, be teaching. It's a little bit more complicated. Is very... <laughs> yeah. yeah. You see, time time really flies. I mean, it has been over one month that we have been together. Well, and it, it has been a lot. But the good thing is that you have advanced. You speak a lot better. I, I really like that your speaking is improving on, on this new yeah. month. Then I think you sign up for the next one, right? Did you sign up for the next module? Mm, no, no. Tomorrow, tomorrow I send the email for the the people. The how do you say? The manager or the of of the of English cooperative. The, the yes. Okay, <clears throat> yeah, do it because if not, you are going to run out of spot. And we want to have the same group in the next month, right? No, mm -hmm. Carlos in another group there, pre intermedio, cinco. <laughs> oh, no, we want to have you here in this group. Well, hello, Manuel. Hello, hello. Briselda. Hello, Gerardo. Welcome. Hello, teacher. Good evening, teacher. Okay, no problem Good evening, with, the, teacher. with the exercises. Hello. Mm -hmm. No, teacher. No, I, nothing. Right, you finish already, right? I finished. I finished that. And you finish that with what percentage? One hundred. For one hundred. Good. You see. And Janet with one hundred. Yeah, one hundred too. Mr. Carlos. Sorry. Uh, what is your percentage uh, of of the platform? Or you haven't finished? See. see. Similar, similar, Janet, 100. 100, yeah, I mean, they're going to say like, all the students have 100 there. Oh, uh, uh, I, and, and the, uh, the exam, the, they're going to one, two, three, four. Oh, no, yeah. but it, it's okay. Uh, on the last class, you are going to have the opportunity to share a specific situations like this one. Mm -hmm. So we yeah. can go over uh, the exams and we can just uh, fix up things and situations. Thank God this group has, uh, has had very limited situations with the platforms because there are other groups that no, my certificate doesn't work, or my thing doesn't work, this doesn't work, the platform and everything. And thank God you have had a very fluid uh, module. So it has been very mm -hmm. nice and with no more situations, right? Hello, Mr. We, Miguel. We learn to... You Hello, learn teacher. To solve the situations. I am cook. You are cooking. Okay, invite us. Hey, great. That's a good example of ING forms. You say, I am cooking right now. Cooking. I will be cooking at 10 when I finish. <laughs> I will be cooking dinner. And I, I really like Gerardo's kitchen. It's very nice. 
<laughs> Thank you. Cool. Well, so let's go over. Yesterday, I didn't have the chance to finish one thing that we were doing. So we're going to go over it. Uh, this is from yesterday that we were creating questions with how, right? This is the last thing yes. that we did how... yesterday. How big, how tall, how far, how deep, how long. This was the last activity we did in the class. And the activity that I was going to use to start today is this one. Let's see all the knowledge that you have. We're going to have a mini game here to see what, uh, how much do you know, uh -huh. right? How much do you know on this one? Let's see. Uh, we have one question here. Which animal lives the longest? A whale, an elephant, oh, or a tortoise? A tortoise. Longest. Longest. Uh -huh. Which animal lives the longest? Tortoise. The tortoise. Respuesta definitiva. No. Elephant, maybe. No. An elephant, uh huh. Discuss. A giraffe. A giraffe. A giraffe. <laughs> no, but it's from the no. from the first line. Come on. It's from this line, right? A whale, an elephant, and a tortoise. Tortoise de Galápagos. Huh? A whale. So oh. what, some of you say a whale. Some of you say a tortoise. Which one we should believe? We're going to leave the two. <laughs> a whale and a tortoise. The, the, the tortoise. The longest. I am going to. I am going to. It's more longest. Yeah, the one that live longest. They live the longest. Right? The what? one that live. <laughs> Ooh. I think the elephant. Uh, yeah, yeah. The one that lives the longest is like he lives one hundred years, two hundred years. A whale. Yes, true. I Great. think um, tortoise have many uh, predators. Okay, so they they are not going to live that long, but no. we are going to leave the two options later on. I am going to show you which is the correct answer. Which one is the tallest? Mm -hmm. The tallest, el más tallest. alto, right? Yes. The tallest. Uh, yeah. it's giraffe. Giraffe. Uh, giraffe. The giraffe, the camel, uh, giraffe. or the elephant? The giraffe. Uh, giraffe. The, giraffe. The, giraffe. the giraffe. The giraffe. Right. The giraffe. Yeah, yeah. Which of these is the heaviest? The brain, the, the heart, or the living? <laughs> the elephant. Heavy. No. Heavy. The brain, the, brain. the heart, or the liver? <laughs> The, the, the brain. The brain is the, the brain, heaviest. The liver. The liver. The, but in Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you see, you, you got the joke. Huh? I got you on the game. Well, this is heaviest. Uh -huh. the Which brain. one is the heaviest? El más pesado. Uh, Which one is the heaviest? The liver. Ah, uh, yes. The, oh, oh. Me, no, Only in Christmas, say the teacher. <laughs> the liver is Hello. heavy in Christmas. <laughs> the liver. Okay, the liver, you say. Okay, I am, I am going to trust your answers, right? Which planet is the coldest? At Pluto. Mm -hmm. Neptune, Saturn, and Pluto. Pluto. Neptune. Pluto. At, at, actually... Pluto is not a planet. Yeah. Uh, uh, I'm sorry. This uh, uh, a few months ago, uh, the, the the how do they say the astronomy <laughs> all the world say uh, it, Neptune is it's the, cold, the, the more coldest. It's the coldest. You say it's the coldest. Uh -huh. You're gonna say the more coldest because you are using superlatives, right? It's the coldest. Mm -hmm. It's called cold. Neptune. Okay, you have Neptune Which and Pluto. I, I don't know. Biggest. Which one is the biggest? Jupiter, Earth. the Earth, Jupiter. or Mars? Jupiter. 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 Okay, Jupiter mm -hmm. is the biggest. Let's see. Which, which metal is which heavy? metal is the heaviest? Gold, silver, ah. or aluminium? Gold. Gold. gold, gold, gold. Okay, say gold. Let's see. Which country is the driest? El más seco. Mexico. 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 M
Egypt, Peru, or Chile? Egypt. 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 Driest. Egypt. Driest. Yeah, the driest. Egypt, is it your last answer? What's the definition? I don't yes. know because, because between uh, Egypt and Peru. Peru is more is it's drier. It's drier yes, and drier. This is Egypt. Egypt. Okay, Egypt. Egypt and Peru. Egypt. Peru. Egypt. This is Peru. Egypt. 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 Okay. Egypt. Which one is close to Ecuador, Malaysia? Colombia. Which one is the closest to the Ecuador? Malaysia, Colombia, or India? Colombia. Colombia. Okay, you say Colombia. Some say Malaysia. No. Which one? Decide, decide. Colombia. Hey. <laughs> I am taking you in the social studies class again. Woo! ¿Por qué no Colombia. puse atención en la clase de social? Colombia. <laughs> Colombia. We're sleeping. Ajá, uh -huh. uh -huh. you see, like, ah, uh, le hubiera puesto atención a la teacher Juanita ya, en la clase de social. <laughs> no, pero okay. estaba ahí escribiendo cartas, mi amor. Malaysia, Colombia, uh, or India. <laughs> you say Colombia, ok. India. We're going to see. India is the closest <laughs> to the Ecuador. ¿Cuál es que está más cercano al Ecuador? You say the three. One of them has to be. <laughs> Which place is the wettest? Bogor, Indonesia. Bogor in Indonesia? Indonesia. Kauai in Hawaii? Or Manus in, Blur in Brazil? It's the wettest. Bogor, Indonesia. Okay, in Indonesia. Okay, I'm going to be leaving. Or Indonesia. 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 And which place is the hottest? Al Asisiya in Libya, Death Valley in the USA, or Alice Springs in Australia? The hottest. Which place is the Libya? Alice Spring. Alice Spring. Some of you say Libya. As Alicia Libya. Alicia Libia. Alicia Libia. Alicia. It's like Alicia. Alicia. <laughs> Libya. Okay, so these are your answers, right? These are the ones that you consider that they are the right answers. And it's like, yes, teacher, they are the right answers, right? Okay. Let me tell you that the animal that lives the longest is the tortoise, mm -hmm. right? The tortoise. The one that is the tallest, it's the giraffe. Yeah. <laughs> to read giraffe. the answers, you're going to be like. <laughs> the one that it's the heaviest is the liver. The coldest. Yeah. Huh? yeah, the liver. The coldest is Pluto, even when it doesn't exist anymore. Pluto. That's the coldest. Because it's the one that it's farthest from the sun. In the sun. Number five, it says which one is biggest? It's the biggest? Jupiter. That was good. Which one is the heaviest? Gold. Very good. Which one is the driest? Egypt. Which one is the closest to the Ecuador? Colombia. Okay, but Colombia. You know, Colombia, good thing in social studies. Which is the wettest? Kauai in Hawaii. It, we didn't get that one. Hawaii in Hawaii. And which place is the hottest? Alcicilla in Libya. So these were the answers of the situations that we had. A good club because of your effort. You did a good effort trying to get the knowledge quiz. So now we know things that we didn't know. Ahora aprendimos algo que no sabíamos. Let's continue here. Yesterday we started this, right? We started this conversation, as you remember it. We did the conversation and it was here, if I am not mistaken. Oh, I hear this. Here's the conversation that we did that I am going to Australia next year. Aren't you from Australia, Beth? 
actually I am from New Zealand. Oh, I didn't know that. So what it's like there. Oh, it's beautiful. It has a lot of farms and it's very mountainous. Really? How high are the mountains? Uh, well, the highest one is Mount Cook. It's about 3,800 meters high. Mm, how far is New Zealand from Australia? Well, I live in Auckland. In Auckland, it's about 2,000 kilometers from Sydney. Well, maybe I should visit next year too. And here in this conversation, we have the same idea, but you are going to come and you are going to go to another country. For example, here, how would you complement the conversation? It says, I am going to, give me a country. French. To Brazil. France, to France, to Brazil, Mexico. to El Salvador. <laughs> we live here. I, I thought that I thought that it was going to be the first Canada. country. Canada. I am going to Canada next year. Aren't you from Korea? Canada? Aren't you from Canada, students? You say, actually, I am from. In El Salvador. I am from El Salvador, right? <laughs> oh, I didn't know that. So, what it's like there? Oh, it's beautiful, you say, and it has a lot of farms and it's very mountainous. Really? How high are the mountains? And you say, well, the highest one is, invent a number. El Pital. Uh -huh. The highest one is El Pital. It's about... 3,000... A lot of meters. 2,282 <laughs> meters. 3,282 no, meters. No, 2,000, no, 2,000. Uh, 2,000, 3,282. 2,282 meters. Oh my God, that's a lot of meters. In El Pital. Mm. A kilometer. Yes. <laughs> and how far is Santa Ana from San Salvador? About 65 kilometers. Santa Ana from San Salvador? 90. <laughs> yeah, 65 kilometers. 65, it's 90 kilometers. Oh, 95. 90 or 95. 95. Well, depending on the place on San Salvador that you are located. And it says like, well, Santa maybe Ana I should Santa. I should visit you next year too. Yeah, I think from San Salvador to Huachapán, there are like 120 kilometers. Yeah, we are not that big. Yeah. We are a very small country. So these were the things that I was missing from the previous class. Let's see. I am going to go and practice with one of you so we can go over the topic for the day. Uh, let me see. Mr. Kevin. Kevin Villalta. Hello. It's me. Hello, Kevin. Hello. Hey, Kevin. 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 Hello. <clears throat> Yesterday too. Hmm. <laughs> El amor. <laughs> Mr. Kevin is leaving the class. Yes, Kevin is leaving the class. Hey, uh -huh. I caught you in the move. Si alguien me oye en el teléfono de Kevin. Okay, Boris. Boris Rodriguez, help me. Boris, I am going to Guatemala next year. Aren't you from Guatemala, Boris? Actually, I'm from El Salvador. Oh, I didn't know that. So what it's like there? Oh, it's beautiful. It has a lot of farms and it's very mountainous. Well, uh, really? How high are the mountains? Well, the highest one is... From some 200 meters. Hi. Oh, and Hi. how far how far is uh, San Salvador from San Miguel? Well, I think is uh, our uh, maybe uh, could be invent a number. Don't worry. Invent. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, 150 kilometers. 150 kilometers. Well, maybe I should visit you next year too. Very good job. 
Now, let's see. Mr. Gerardo and Humberto, can you help me with the conversation? I did the example so you can follow the example. Okay, whoever uh, you want. Humberto, whoever. Okay, I'm going to Mexico next year. Aren't you from Mexico? From Mexico? Uh -huh. Actually, I'm from El Salvador. Oh, I didn't know that. So what is like there? Oh, it's beautiful. It has lots of farms and it's very mon mountain. Mountain. Uh, it's very mountainous. Uh -huh. Mountainous. Really? How high are the mountains? Well, the highest one is El Pital. It's about um, two, 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 uh, 2,200 82 meters high. Mm, how far is San Salvador from Usulután? Well, I'd seen uh, 90, 90, 95 kilometers. It's about. Well, yeah, it's about <clears throat> 100, what, 100, what? 20, 25 kilometers. Kilometer from San Salvador. Well, maybe I should visit you next year too. Very good job. Reactions for your friends, classmates. <laughs> yes, they did a very good job at the conversation. Well, my dear students, it was very good. The conversation was very nice. So we're going to move forward on today's topic. That was what I was missing from yesterday, and I, I never like to leave things undone. So I wanted to finish the topic with all of you. And for sure, today we are going to work a little bit on something different. Thank you for the volunteers who went over the, the conversation, and that was very, very, very nice. I am going to go back here, and I'm going to share my screen again. Mr. Kevin, are you back? No. He left me here alone. Okay, let me just share my screen. I'm going to share it with all of you. Here we go. And ta -da! Okay, this is our class today. It's class number 12. It's pretty awesome. Right, and uh, what we did in the previous class, we did it already, that was very nice. And today we're going to go over the creation of questions, right? We're going to go over uh, creating questions. And what we are going to do in this class, we are going to practice a little bit of reading, right? We're going to practice a little bit of reading, a little bit of internalizing and remembering parts of the reading. Right, I, I am going to give you these five questions. I need you to write the questions, right? I need you to write them on your notebook because you are going to use them uh, later. When we finish the reading, you are going to use the questions, but it is better that you have them already. So I am going to give you two minutes for you to write the questions on your notebook. And when you are ready, let me know. Aquí no se vale el screenshot, okay? You have to copy the questions, the sentences in your notebook. So let me know when you finish. This is a moment for you to exercise. You're writing.
Okay, let me know, let me know when you finish. Okay. The first one that says Stephanie always takes long showers in the morning. In the winter, Ralph keeps the heat turned up all day. Matt buys a newspaper every day, but he never reads it. Stuart drives to work, but his office is near his home. And Shayla leaves the lights on at home all the time. Those are the five sentences that we have. Ready. Ready. Okay, we have one that's ready. Who else? Ready, teacher. Ready, very good. When I get five readies, we're going to go over the reading. I would love to have 16 readies. Ready, 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 ready. Manuel, ready. Or do you have any other question? Okay. I need one more ready. And we will. will. Very good job. Ready. Excellent. We will continue then. So. What are you going to do with this one? So give your best recommendation, right? After the reading that we're going to have, you're going to analyze the reading and the idea that we're going to give, and you are going to give the best recommendation for each of the people in the sentences. The first one, it's right here. And it says things that you can do to help the environment. Things that you can do to help the environment. And in this one, we have the first reading. And I'm going to make it bigger for you to actually have the chance to reading. Here we have, what are number one? What can you see in picture number one? Eh, too much traffic. Cars. Okay, cars and traffic, right? And what, are, what can you see in picture number two? Bicycle. bicycle. A bicycle, right? right? Which one do you think that helps the environment more? Bicycle. The bicycles, bicycle. right? Yeah. The bicycles. Okay, so let's read. And it says, uh, okay, I am going to read the first one and then I'm going to ask for volunteers for the next one. So be ready. Cars are getting bigger. SUVs, large. Truck-like vehicles are now the most popular new cars in the United States. Bigger vehicles burn more gas and increase problems with acid rain and air pollution. So try to walk, bicycle, or use public transportation. And if you drive a car, keep it tuned up. What is the meaning of tune up? Keep it nice and working properly. In good Salvadorian, you say, hey, mi carro está tuneado. And that's why there's where the word comes from. When you say the car, you have to keep the car turned up. Turn up means en buen funcionamiento. But we transform that into Spanish and say like it's tuneado. But tuneado, they mean that they have lights and stickers and things. And it's like very crazy. But you see the false friends of English there. These can save gas and reduce pollution. Do you know all the words on this paragraph? Yes. Yes. Is it clear? So we can move to the next one. So in this one, between cars and bicycles, bicycles win, right? 
bicycles are the winners on this one. What about the next one? Here on the next one, we have energy. Briselda, you want to help me to read it? Yes. Or do you have a question? <laughs> yes, I have a question. Uh-huh. What do you mean in pollution? Pollution, contamination. Ah, okay. Okay, pollution. And help me to read it. Energy. Okay. Briselda. The paragraph? Yes, please. Okay, um, the biggest use of home energy is for heating and cooling. So turn up your air conditioner and turn down to heat, especially at Can night. <laughs> Sorry. It's okay, don't worry. <laughs> Replace uh, regular, regular lights, bulbs with fluorescent bulbs, which use less energy. And remember to turn lines off. Yes, all the suggestions from the mothers are true, right? If you are not using the light, turn it off, right? Turn off the light and you become an adult when you are turning off all the lights in your house, okay? That's the moment when you know that you are an adult. Ahí ya es nivel de adulto de bloqueado, cuando andamos apagando todas las luces. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Definitely. Like, ¿Quién está aquí en ese cuarto? ¿Quién está ocupando la luz? No one. Beep. Turn it off. <laughs> and well, some of us do not have air conditioning. I mean, if you have air conditioning, you're very lucky. So try to keep it uh, cool, right? Try to avoid the heat to go out for you to avoid it. And with the, with the type of lights that you should use, they should be white lights instead of the yellow ones, fluorescent ones, because they use and consume less energy. The next one, it's going to be Oh, sorry, I didn't ask you. Do you know all the words in this uh, paragraph? New words? No? No. Okay, good, very good. So let's go here with the next one. Products. Products that are in the garbage and products that are recycled, right? There are many things that we can recycle at home and we are not recycling it. Mr. Adrian, can you help me to read the paragraph? Okay. Uh, products. Each American throws away on average of 10 kilograms uh, for dot five pounds of trash mm -hmm. every day. Most that uh, trash goes into landfill. Uh, reduce waste before you well, buy by asking yourself, uh, do I need uh, that even uh -huh. it's, it's it's so many times. I can only use ones by products that you can use over and over again. Uh -huh. If you use disparable products, just to smell from recycled material. Very good. Thank you very much. Thank you very, 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 very much for reading. Um, on pronunciation, you say throws away, right? Throws away, bota, throws desecha, away. right? An average, 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 an average. average. Oh, okay. What about the line? Come on. An average of 10 kilograms, 4.5 pounds of trash every day. So imagine every single person, it's almost five pounds of trash. Okay. De cada persona son casi cinco libras de basura every day and most of the trash goes into the landfills los botaderos or las planicias uh, reduce waste before you buy by asking yourself do i need the item is it something that i can use only once buy products that you can use over and over again if you use disposable products disposable means desechables and Choose those made from recycled materials. Okay, do you have any other question about vocabulary? No. No, is it clear? Yes. Great. Yes. It's clear. Okay, so the products. Remember to use recycled things. Instead of buying bottles of water, get one bottle and refill it, right? That's a tip for you too reduce and reuse the last one the last uh, 
part of reading that we have. Water, <laughs> the, the next problem being an adult. ¿Quién está gastando el agua? The next adult level on block. Water. Let me see. It's going to be on Sandra Yasmin. Can you help me to read? Showers use a lot of water in one week. In one week. Uh -huh. Don't worry. Okay. Uh -huh. <laughs> water. Showers use a lot, a lot of water. In one week, a typical American family use as much water as a person drink in three years <sighs> by a special low flow. Uh -huh. Show, shower head or uh -huh. take shorter showers. This can cut, this can cut water use in health. Also, fix any leaking faucet. Very good job. Okay. What is the mean leak, leaky faucet? Leaky faucets. Leaky faucets are, for example, these things that you have in your house that are just like tick, 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 tick. Ah, and you want, to, you want to close them, but it's impossible. It's like, ah, it's not like that. But every single leaking counts and you are wasting water. So that is the meaning of leaky. Leaky, it's like que gotea. Chorros que gotean. When you say a low flow shower head, low flow, it means that it takes only the necessary water. It's not like the showers in El Salvador, right? You open it, it's a... <laughs> a low flow is like the one you have in the picture, right? That it takes just the right amount of water. The shower head is the type of this, this part of the, of the shower, right? The one that we have here, right here. This shower head. And um, I think just that one. And remember when you pronounce, for example, an American family uses, right? Remember to make the plural forms. In this case, the third person uh, form of the verb. And imagine you use as much water as a person will drink in three years, in one week. That's all the water that we spend and that we throw away. So, there we have, and in this case, we have situations and recommendations, right? Because in this case, we have, don't use a lot of water, buy a low flow shower hair, or cut the use of water in half, or fix the faucets, right? You were giving recommendations. Now, it's your turn to give recommendations. Here you have five situations on which people are doing things incorrectly. So what we're going to do right now is that in little groups, we are going to go in little groups and you have to create the five recommendations for the five situations. In this case, it has, Stephanie always takes long showers in the morning. What is your recommendation? In the winter, Ralph keeps the heat turned up all day. What is your recommendation? Matt buys a, a newspaper every day, but he never reads it. What is the recommendation that you give? And a steward drives to work, but his office is near his home. What is the recommendation? And the last one, Shayla leaves the lights on at home all the time, okay? So for this one, we're going to make little groups. I need you to discuss, and I need you to create the recommendations, okay? You can discuss them. It's not necessarily that you write them down, I just need you to discuss. What do you think is the solution? What do you think it's the recommendation? Okay, is it clear? Okay. Clear. Okay. Teacher. Clear as the horchata. Okay. Clear. As the weather of, uh, of the Limpo River. Oh, so it's clear, it's clear. <laughs> yeah. Okay, let's go to the mini groups and um, I am going to be, I'm going to be calling you back in around four or five minutes is going to be something short, okay? We're going to have only three groups here. And I am going to go visit each group for, uh, for me to listen to your discussions, okay? Go ahead. I'm going to call you in the groups right now. Let's go.
Here it is. There you go. See you in a second in the groups. There you go, there you go. I am missing Evelyn, Manuel, and Adrián. Thank you, I am missing Evelyn now only. Okay, Evelyn, I don't know if you have difficulties to enter. There you go. Okay, so all the students have been assigned to the mini groups. I'm going to send them a message, right? Remember to discuss on the topic. I don't know what happened. Okay, Evelyn. I, 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 I have internet okay. connection. I, I can imagine. I am going to send you the invitation back. There you go. Okay. Gracias. A tiempo, porque ya me iba a un grupo. There you go. Okay, let's check if Evelyn entered to the group. Yes, she is in the group. I am going to go and listen to group number one. Or, or five minutes. Five minutes with a clock is what alarm? Because, because the, the water of the planet is it's more escape it's, it's more, se dice escasa sería poner escaso en inglés pero en superlativo uh -huh. um we have uh, maybe it can be like uh, in in a low flow low 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 flow, low flow. it's like escasa or uh, what is the sentence that you want to make? Uh, the recommendation is, teacher, uh -huh. she, take, she take normal shower around 50 minutes because the water of the planet is more uh, scarce. Oh, okay. Or... I am going. I am going to give you the the exact thing. Let me just investigate. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, because you can say because we are lacking water in the world. Because we are lacking water in the world. Lacking is like L-A-C-K-I-N-G. We are lacking water in the world. Porque nos está faltando el agua. Right? We are lacking water in the world. I sent it in the chat. I don't know if you can see it. And, and, say, and say too, the water is very expensive today. Uh -huh. You can say the water is very expensive every day. And nowadays. Okay. Okay. The first sentence is ready. The second. Okay. Discuss on the second. I am going to go and check the other groups. Okay. 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 Sandra, can you read the second sentence, please? Okay. In the winter, Ralph keeps the head. Kevin is here. Oh, yeah, I'm here. Man. Oh, yes. Hey, Kevin, I found you. <laughs> yes, I was working. Yes, teacher. Ah. Sorry. You were working? Uh, yeah, working up. Oh, okay. So you're back. Thank God. Yeah, I was calling you before in the class. <laughs> and I was like, Kevin, okay. Kevin, Kevin, but you didn't answer. Mm -hmm. Okay, we okay. actually talked about the third one. Matt boys a new paper every day, but never reads 
read it. Read, read it. Uh -huh. And what is your recommendation for him? Maybe he um, can read not it online. It's okay. We it's okay he buys new paper, but i I think we can recommend that a uh, recycle the newspaper every day. Okay, to recycle the newspaper. Good. He can, well, the recommendation that Evelyn oh, did, right, that he can read the news online. That's a very good one, too. Okay, so continue so recommending. Okay, it's uh, four. Stuart drives to yes. work, but his office is near his home. I think he can do home office or walk. <laughs> or use a bicycle. Uh, walk. It's not hard to walk. <laughs> yeah, he can, he can walk. He can do home office. That's a very good one. Uh, or, sure, for sure. example, here in El Salvador, uh, the drivers uh, don't respect the cycles. Yeah. Yeah, that's yes. a Yes, four dollars the the a gallon the, the gasoline. Yeah, <laughs> a gallon of gas. It's very. Oh yeah, he should walk. Yes. <laughs> okay. okay. Well, the next one, I think. Shayla. For ants here, Shayla leaves the lights on at home all the time. I am going to check the other groups. Continue. Yeah. Sometimes I I. Lose the, the 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 idea in my in my mind. The idea, yes. <laughs> yeah. oh, I really me. feel you. <laughs> I come on. Why? <laughs> ah, I caught you. No. Right? <laughs> surprise, surprise. <laughs> Oops. I was in the, I was like hiding in the middle there. Like, huh? They are not listening to me, but I am here. Okay. <laughs> it's a like ghost. <laughs> yeah. Hey. No. Come on. I, I am very. I am very chilly, but no, I am not. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's gonna, this is pandemic uh, color. You see. <laughs> yeah. With no D vitamins. Vitamins. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's not the vitamins. It's pandemic. <laughs> well, what are the recommendations that you have for the different situations? Yes, I review, uh, we review this recommendation about the five questions. Okay. Hey, you are blessed among the ladies. You are the only man. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay, what is the recommendation for the lady who leaves the lights on? The uh, lights on. Ah, number five. Shayla. Number uh -huh. five. Number five. Shayla. Use Shayla. one light. Shayla, perdón. Uh -huh. One light and the LED fluorescent. Use it's LED fluorescent. One. Good, very good. Others, other or things. Turn off the light that they yes. she don't use. She does. Yes. Turn, it's turn the off best. all the other lights that they are not using. Good. Well, what is the recommendation for the boy who lives near his job? Mm. He used I recommend a bicycle. bicycle. Walking bicycle. or using a bicycle. Walking or using the bicycle, right? That would be the best recommendation for him. Well, so, uh, we're going to go back to the class in one minute. So uh, finish your discussion and then you can join the main group, okay? Okay. okay. Thanks, miss. Thank you. Bye-bye. Finish Bye. here. Hello, hello. Hey, I feel that I was here before. <laughs> okay. Hello, Sandrita. Welcome back. Evelyn, Griselda, Linda, Manuel, Gerardo. Welcome back. I am beauty, I know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, in the case of Linda, she's always Linda, right? Say Griselda, Linda, yes. Yeah, Say. Griselda, Linda. I think. I think we are all very beautiful. And the boys are very <laughs> handsome. They are 
there are oh. a lot of very handsome boys here. Okay. In the good, in the good thing, ladies don't get angry. Yeah, wives don't get angry. I am just making a compliment on on everybody. Okay, so uh, recommendations, right? Recommendations for the different situations that we have. You know, people, I always take long showers in the morning. I love the long showers. What is your recommendation? Me too. <laughs> la, 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 la. Singing. <laughs> What is, your, what is your recommendation? I take very long showers. It's the first situation in the in the sentences. Don't, don't take shower, in the cough, <laughs> water. Take don't normal, take normal, take normal, normal sh shower around 15 minutes because it's very expensive, the water today. Yeah, but I think a normal shower in El Salvador is like five minutes. It's just like... Then then you... two, mi two minutes. Shower the cold... Cold water, using cold water. Yeah, then you're going to shower like this. <laughs> Two minutes. <laughs> or, or on the contrary, you're going to be just like frozen there. You're not going to shower anymore. Well, <laughs> my second problem, my second problem. Uh, I always buy the newspaper, but I never read it. I always buy, buy the newspaper, huh? Don't buy the newspaper. You don't anymore. buy the newspaper don't buy the anymore. Newspapers anymore, yeah. And okay. and read and read the news on the internet. Oh, and yeah. how how am I going to do with the avocados? Su yeah. Subscribe on the on the, the digital people. newspaper. <laughs> on the digital newspaper. Digital do, you, newspaper. do you know what I have? Are? Avocados tree. Yeah, Actually, avocados are only avocados. I have yeah. one uh, avocados tree. Uh, if I if I read the news online, how do I um, do with the avocado <laughs> or the mangoes with other paper uh, with other type uh, of paper, right? <laughs> that, that's why I buy the newspaper. The news. Yeah, social uh, read social media and read the news. Hey, that's a very good recommendation. Mm -hmm. I am not going to pay the subscription anymore. You know, I live very close to my office and I go by car every day what do you recommend working at the world okay you use, yeah. you use, oh, the, use bicycle, bicycle. bicycle. I, I cannot ride a bike <laughs> but if, you, if you if you can't do it you can uh compartir Share. the car with other people with other hey. co-worker okay that it's yeah. that it's called carpooling you yeah. can carpool. Carpooling. carpooling. Yeah, you can carpool. Just carpooling. Yeah, you can carpool. You can say like you can go carpooling with the with another friend. That's the meaning of yeah. sharing sharing a car. And the last the last Carp thing that I have the last situation. You know, I always leave the lights on, all the time. I forget to turn them off. What is your recommendation? To turn off the lights that you're Turn off the lights that you are not using. Thank you. What yeah. would I do without my students that are always giving me the best recommendations? <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> Reactions for you. Very good. It was very nice. Very, very, very nice and complete, right? Good reactions. That was very good. I am going to send you some hearts here. Yay. It was very good. And uh, to finish a little bit on this topic, in a very quick way, what question refers to the following sentences? If I say, it's about four kilometers from my house to the school, what question can you make using how? How long? How long? How long is your house to the, from the school? How, how long? Oh. Are you sure no. that you're going to use how long? Far? How far? Very how good. Far. How far? Oh, yes. Far. How far? How far is your house from your school? All right. The next one. The Pacific Ocean is bigger than the Atlantic Ocean. Question with comparatives. How, how bigger is... You have two things. The Pacific Ocean is bigger than the Atlantic Ocean. 
Which one is Which one? bigger? Which the one Pacific is bigger? Ocean or the Atlantic Ocean? Ding, ding, ding. Very good. Which one is bigger? The Pacific Ocean or the Atlantic oh. Ocean? The next one. Anna has the longest hair in the class. Who has the longest hair? Has the longest hair in the class? In okay. our class? Mm -hmm. Who has the longest hair in the Who class? Cerro Verde is the most beautiful spot to visit in El Salvador. Mm. Which one not? is Each the most one. beautiful place, place to visit in El Salvador? Mommy. Exactly. Which one is the most beautiful Which spot one? or place to visit Which in El Salvador? One? Which one? Right. Yeah. Which in this Which case? One? Which one? No, you say which is. Which is the most beautiful spot to visit in El Salvador? The okay. next one. Juan is the most intelligent student in the class. Who is the most intelligent student in the class? All my students are very intelligent. Dogs are better than cats. Mm. Which, which one, one is which, better, which, dogs which, which, or which, cats? Which one is better? Excellent. Which one is better, which, dogs or cats? And we are not going to fight over that because if not, we're going to finish the class at one in the morning. They're so like, no, the cats, the dogs, and everything. No, the cacatua. So everything, everything is better than the other ones. Aha. Uh -huh. The question uh, that we're going to use almost, almost to finish the class. Have you ever... Or like in your life, have you ever used excuses to avoid an invitation? It's like, ah, yeah, yeah for yes. sure, but, and then it goes, the excuse. It right? was lovely, but I can't because I have classes at the night. You say like, you know, at eight, ah, at you eight know, I have to attend classes with my dear teacher, sorry. I can't. I can't. I have to work. I have to work, you say. Or all the excuses that you make when you don't want to go out with the person. But when you like the person, when the person is nice, when the person is cute, it's your friend and everything, you don't invent Sorry. any excuses. I right? can't at the 8 o'clock, but at night, but at we night, can yes. go. <laughs> we can go. Let's do it. <laughs> As oh, soon as I sorry. finish, or yeah, crazy. I don't have time. <laughs> yeah, I don't have time today, but tomorrow, sorry. yes, you... <laughs> I'm sick now. <laughs> well, if you say in nowadays, if you say that you are sick, mm, yeah, no, 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 Let, let's not go. <laughs> right, and I'm ready. <laughs> okay, yeah, it's like, no, thank you, don't worry. Uh, crazy excuses like, I am busy that night. <sighs> Oh, sorry, I can find a babysitter. It's like, no tengo quien me cuida los niños. Yeah. I can find a babysitter. I am not feeling well. The grandmother. Eh, 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 eh. <laughs> Imagine now in COVID times, it's like, I am not Mommy. feeling well. <laughs> like, no. <laughs> I have to work. Well, that's a very common excuse. And listen to this one. I just got a new puppy and I have to stay home with him. <laughs> Uh, it's not credible. Canelo, canelo. Uh -huh. This is a good one for you. I have class that night. Yeah. Yes. yeah. It's really. Yeah. Yeah. Right? That's a real yeah. thing. It's, it's not a real. Real. My favorite TV show is on that night. You see, no, I have no. to watch Betty the Ugly. <laughs> Sorry. No. I, I have to get TV. up early the next morning. Uh -huh. And at one in the morning watching Netflix. This is true. In, in, yeah, in, in Sunday. Yeah, on Sunday. Uh -huh. mm. well, I okay. work on Sunday. So. On Sunday is fall. <laughs> yeah, so I can't. My parents are visiting from out of town. Yeah, you know, all the family is in my house. Hey, let's go to your house. And no, I, uh, I don't have a house. <laughs> Those are excuses. Tomorrow, prepare your best excuses because we are going to be working on this. So, I am going to leave you here one, uh, let me see. I am going to leave you this one with the last topic that we're going to be covering, almost one of the last ones, with the future with present continues, right? And we're going to use this one tomorrow 
to make invitations, okay? The present continues with be going to. Uh, you can screenshot it if you want. You can screenshot the, the grammar for you to study, analyze it, and for you to bring examples tomorrow, okay? This is what okay. we're going to be using in the class. Present continues with uh, making invitations, with be going to, and the verb, and the time expressions. Tonight, tomorrow, on Friday, this weekend, next week. Okay, what is she going to do tomorrow? She is going to teach this class for all the students. What are you going to do? What are you doing tonight? You are going to screenshot the class and you are going to review it for you to study for tomorrow. Okay. <laughs> I gave you real life examples. <laughs> well, my dear students, this is going to be for tomorrow. Also, we have, we're going to have a conversation based on this one. So prepare your best excuses for the class. It's like, but attend the class. Don't tell me, teacher, I am not going to be in the class because I have to shower the cat. Ah, no, no, no. Okay. Don't apply these excuses for me. So I am going to see you tomorrow in the class. Have a beautiful night. Sleep well. And I am going to see you with um, this part of the grammar. And we're going to complement it with the topic of invitations, okay? Have a great okay. night. It's time for us to finish. So take good care of yourself. You too, okay. Good night. Okay. Finish working night. on the platform bye, if teacher. you haven't finished. Oh, see you tomorrow. Yeah. Okay. Bye -bye. See you tomorrow. Bye, teacher. Bye -bye. See you. Bye-bye.